Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul video, but also I'm going to give you guys a cautionary tale about how not to do a review request to anybody. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's me or anybody, but we'll get to that in a second. First things first, I want to do some self promo awesome like last time. Yeah, I'm trying to talk about my books a little bit more. Uh, people said I should, so I'm going to. If it annoys you, just scrub past it. But today, we are talking once again about Maiden, which is the book that I wrote with T.C. Parker. We are pitching it as The Thing meets The Deadliest Catch, meet or A Perfect Storm, either one, um, with mermaids. So if you like mermaid horror, definitely check it out. It's up on Amazon uh, and for, I think, $6.99 for the ebook, $14.99 for the paperback, but it's also free to read on Kindle, or if you have a NetGalley account, it is up as a read now. So you can go ahead and go over there and snag it for the price of a review. How awesome is that? Anyways, I'm gonna put this down. Next up, we have a book that I bought solely, it's gonna sound bad, but I bought it solely for the sticker that came with it. I'll try to put a sticker up here, not a sticker, a picture of the sticker up here because it's already on my wall back here somewhere. Um, and <laughs> the other one is on my book cart. Uh, Shane was kind enough to throw in two because I asked about uh, the sticker he posted um, on Twitter, and he said it's free with the uh, the paperback, but I'll go ahead and send you a couple. And I said, nah, let me go ahead and buy the book. So, actually, let me get this out of here. Um, so, Anoka by Shane Hawk, absolutely fantastic cover. Um, and I, I'm going to read it. I didn't just buy it for the stickers, but I wanted to support his uh, land back movement um, and his publishing, all that stuff. So yeah, this one, it's a short story collection of indigenous fiction. I'm hyped for that. All right, next up, I'm going to put this over here. Uh, next up, one of my most anticipated books of uh, uh, like the past couple of years, ever since I read uh, Araminta Hall's last one. This one is Hidden Depths. This is a fictional telling of her great-grandfather's actual experience on the Titanic. I love Titanic stories. And I'm super hyped for this. Uh, this one comes out in the UK in March 2022. Uh, yeah, launching March 2022. That's going to be tough, tough for me to say next year. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know when it's coming out in the US, but this is the UK edition, and that one will be out first. Next, we have four books from the same author. Uh, I found these at, uh, uh, what was it? Not a thrift store. I think it was Second and Charles. I found all these for super cheap. Yon Nesba is one of my favorite thriller writers, and I found four of his hardcovers. One of them is Kniff. <laughs> If I, it's knife. I know it is, but uh, if I don't say that, people are gonna. Did he really pronounce it? Anyways, um, I, this is a Harry Hole novel. It's not Harry Hole. Get your minds out of the gutter. Anywho, and the next one, I believe all these are Harry Hole uh, stories, but this one is the Leopard. All these, all these hardcovers are massive, man. Uh, they're 500 pages a piece. That is long for a thriller. Anyways, next up we have Police. Yeah. And they still got the sticker on them. I'm, I'm going to take them off. One of, that's one of my favorite relaxing, uh, my one of my favorite pastimes to relax is just sticker removal. Use some goo gone, some love and attention, take my time. Anyways, next up is the next book I have to read in the series. I have the paperback, but I found the hardcover of The Redeemer. Yeah. So that's everything that I got for review and that I bought for myself and some self-promo awesome. Now, let me give you a cautionary tale of what not to do when uh, requesting a review from anybody. Um, I received an email from a person. This was over a year ago, I believe. And this person, uh, they, they said, hey, I'd like to send you a book. They did not mention that the book was their book. They just mentioned that they wanted to send me a book. So I told them, I was like, I am closed for review requests. So if it's your book, I have no idea when or if I will ever get to it. So about a month later, roughly, I get this book. 
in the mail. This is a circle of Amaz a Amazons. Circle of Am Am Animals. I can't even talk. Circle of Animals by Victor Malone. Doesn't even have, we're going to get to the problems with this book here in a second. Doesn't even have the author's name on the cover. It is on the back of it. Um, and then I, I get it. A couple months go by. And then he res he uh, messages me again, emails me again, and says, "Hey, haha, uh, -ha, it was my book. When are you going to be able to get to it?" And I I told him, "Yeah, I might not ever get to it because I am closed for review requests." After that, I stopped responding. I don't know if he sent me any more emails or not. I put him in my spam folder. Uh, but never do this. Never offer to send someone a book and make it seem like you're just giving them a gift when you're actually sending them a review copy. State up front that, they, that you want to send a book as a review request. Always do that, up front. Anyways, because had he, he wasted money sending me the book because I'm not going to read it now. Um, so it, the, the way to do this, if you're going to, first off, you need to look to see if the reviewer is open. I have it up on my Twitter that now I'm permanently closed for reviews. I have plenty of publishers and authors that I work with now. I have plenty of review stuff. Um, so, so sorry, but I, I just can't keep up. And now this person has spent money to send me their book that I'm never going to read. Um, I'm going to donate it, uh, or if any of you out there want it, go ahead and comment down there and I'll send it to you for free. Maybe he'll get a review after all. But there are so many problems. My phone keeps going up. Uh, there are so many problems with this book. Uh, just, just the design of it is an issue. First off, there's no byline. There's no author name on the cover. That's, that's you know, silly. Um, unless he's trying to hide uh, the, the name, but that doesn't make any sense because uh, it's on the spine and it's on the inside. Now, let me tell you the number one uh, issue I have with this book uh, that kind of, that made me nope out as soon as I opened it. There's not a single page number anywhere on the book. Let's say I wanted to read this with friends and we wanted to keep track of where we were. Or hell, maybe I want to update on Goodreads every time that I, you know, that I progress in the book. It, but just page numbers are the very, very basics of a printed copy of a book. And it doesn't even, it not only it does not have the byline on the cover, but it also does not have page numbers. If he can't be bothered to put page numbers in his book, can you imagine what the editing is like? Now, it might be clean. I don't know. Like I said, I'm never going to read the book. But can you imagine how bad it must be? I'm pretty sure you can. But anyways, there's my cautionary tale of what not to do as a uh, as an author to try and get to try and be sneaky and get uh, reviews from people. Uh, I don't appreciate it. Uh, it's a it's a dick move. Um, and I hope that Victor watches this or whatever um, his name is because I believe the emails are from a completely different person. Um, which also makes me think, you know, he was trying to get slide in his book um, on the down low, which uh, it's, it's disrespectful. Um, but if you want to go out and try Victor's book, by all means, go out and get it. It's Victor Malone. I know it's not going to say it on the cover, but it's Victor Malone. It's called Circle of Animals. Finally got the <laughs> finally got it right. But anyways, um, I would love to hear from you guys what kind of book hauls you've gotten. Please don't link to your channels down there in the doobly-doo. It'll go directly to spam, and I don't check my spam. Um, if you want to, you can link me on Twitter. Links are down there in the doobly-doo. Or you can just type out your book haul down there, and we can talk about it. It's a great way to get to know someone, the type of books that they buy. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book haul video and a cautionary tale. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.